We'll start in a simple seated position, making sure our sitting bones are well grounded on the mat, spine is long, shoulders are gently back, hands anywhere comfortable, eyes closed. Take a moment first to arrive. Noticing the inflow and outflow of your breath. Trying to come into this moment, trying to feel aware of what is happening right now. Slowly take a deep inhale, exhale through the mouth, release all the air. Two more like this, inhale deep, exhale through the mouth. Once last, take a deep inhale and exhale. Very slowly, relax the neck chin to chest and gently we'll open our eyes so we're going to start directly bring the hands in front of us shifting the weight to the knees coming into a simple tabletop position making sure the hands and the shoulders are aligned same as knees and hips and we'll start with some cat and cows to awaken the spine so when you're ready take a deep inhale open up through the chest Shoulders back, looking gently up. As we exhale, we tag the tailbone in. We look to the belly. We round the spine. Inhale deep to open up. Really exaggerating the movement, guys. On the exhale, we push and round, really create space. Inhale deep to open. Shoulders back. Exhale, push and round. Inhale deep and open. Exhale, push and round. Two more like this, inhale and open up. Exhale, push and round. Once last, inhale deep. Nice, and exhale, push and round. On the next inhale, come back to the center and start walking with your hands forward towards the top of the mat. If it's too uncomfortable for you with the hands parallel to shoulders, you can widen a bit more, like the width of the mat. Make sure you're tagging through the tailbone. The chest opens up, the shoulders open, but the tailbone still tucked in, so we're not arching through the lumbar spine, only focusing on the chest and the shoulders. Slowly push on every inhale a little more through the arms. Create space in the shoulders. On the exhale, Allow the chest only to drop. Breathing deeply and slowly. Create more space. Drop more on every breath. For three. If you can, work on gently externally rotating through the shoulders to emphasize that action of opening. Last deep inhale here and exhale. Take a deep inhale, push even harder on the exhale and tuck the tailbone, feel how now the chest drops into a puppy pose. We'll move into dynamic movements from here. So as we inhale, we tuck the tailbone in again, push through the arms, slowly exhale, drop back again into your puppy pose. Nice. Inhale, tuck the tailbone, create space. Exhale, drop into your puppy pose. Again, inhale, tuck through the tailbone. Exhale to your puppy pose. Last one, inhale, really push round. Tuck the tailbone. Exhale, drop and hold. Don't worry if your chest is not reaching the mat. That's completely normal if you're not really open. So you can stay maybe with the forehead on the mat if that's the case. 
The important thing here is that we try to bring the chest lower on the exhales and the hips try to look up as high towards the ceiling as possible. Two more breaths. Nice. And one, slowly tag the tailbone, forehead on the floor, hands close to our face, we push the floor away and we come into all fours. We'll try to work a little bit on our hips. Take a deep inhale and extend through your right leg back. On the exhale, we bring the foot outside of the right hand, lengthening through the spine first, with the knee on the ground, inhale deep, lengthen more. Exhale, maybe stay, maybe bend the elbows, maybe we're able to bring the forearms down and we breathe. On every inhale, try to open up through the chest more, try to bring the hips farther forward. On the exhale, maybe we drop more. Maybe we're able to bring the forehead down. Who knows? Depending how our practice is today. Feel and do what feels good. Two more breaths. Nice. And one. Take a deep inhale. Come all the way up with the hands on the mat. Tack through the back foot. Extend the leg, press with the heel back on the next exhale. See if you can drop again. This time we'll work a little bit more active, very similar. We maybe bring the forearms down or maybe the elbows are bent. If you're able to bring the forearms down, see if you can bring the right shoulder below the inner right knee. If you're able to do that, maybe right hand behind you, maybe touching the lower back. Or if you want to add an extra balance into the form, try to reach with your left hand behind. As you keep extending through the back leg, the heel presses back and the upper body goes forward, trying to find that opposite action which will maintain us in balance. Good. Slow and long breaths. Otherwise, we can just stay with the hands on the ground and just press back with the back heel as well as reaching forward with the chest. Same principle. Last deep inhale. And one. Bring the hands to the floor, extend through the arms, inhale deep. On the exhale, outer edge of the left foot comes down to the mat. Maybe this is enough. Maybe we're able to bring the left hip down towards the mat. If you feel very comfortable, maybe you reach the right arm up. You'll notice that as you bring in your left hip lower, naturally the right hip is opening for three. Keep lowering the left hip more. Keep extending through the left leg, two. See that rotation happening on the hips. And one, look down, bring the right hand again on the floor where it was. Inhale deep, lengthen. Exhale, place the left knee down on the mat. Open again through the right hip, right hand pressing onto the knee, trying to twist gently, looking up to the ceiling, opening through the right shoulder. If this feels comfortable, maybe bend your left leg, trying to reach the foot with your hand or maybe with a belt. Open up and see if you can press your heel towards the glutes. Remember, it's your choice. If this is too much, maintain the back leg extended and we press onto the knee for three, wherever you are. Two, good, and one. Slowly bring your right hand to the floor, come back to the center, take a deep inhale, open up through the chest. On the exhale, extend through your right leg, lengthen through the spine, inhale deep, Exhale, bend the knee again, shift the weight forward. Feel how the hip flexors start tensing. Inhale deep, exhale, extend the leg. Nice. Again, inhale deep, exhale, bend the knee, go forward. Try to create wider movements on each round. Inhale deep, exhale, come back. Inhale deep, exhale, go forward. Last one, inhale deep, exhale, come back, lengthen through the spine, open the chest. Flex through the right foot on the exhale, see if you can reach forward, but without rounding here, okay? Try not to create that bend on the spine. We want to be long, we want to have the spine flat. And we just reach forward with our fingers, flexing through the right foot more, the more we flex, the more we'll feel on the hamstrings. Breathing deeply, 
and slowly for two more breaths. Nice. And one. Slowly walk back, take a deep inhale, exhale, bend the knee, go forward once more. Bring the right hand to the knee, then the left hand follows. Lengthen through the spine, open the chest, focus on that lifting sensation. Shoulders back, interlock the fingers behind you, and open through the chest, bring it higher. On every inhale, emphasize that action, trying to work on the shoulders as well, externally rotating. As they go back, naturally, we have more room for the chest to go forward. For two more breaths. Nice. And one. Inhale deep. Try to see if you can bend the back leg. And try to bring the heel as close to the glutes as possible. Breathing deeply and slowly. The more you open through the chest, the more you try to bring the heel to the glutes. Two. Feel the tension on the hamstrings. Nice. And one. Slowly release. Inhale deep. Lengthen through the spine. Bring the left arm up. On the exhale, left elbow outside of the right knee. We bring the hands in namaste and we flex the back foot. Okay, we may stay here. This is great. If you feel comfortable, work on extending through the back leg. First, focus on pressing the right hand to the left to increase the twist. For three. Nice. Engaging through the glutes, two to help on that stability, and one. On the next inhale, we try to bring the elbow away from the knee, and we try to focus on twisting with our muscles rather than by relaxing them, by engaging them. We work more in this mobility, active flexibility for three. Open through the chest on the inhales, twist more on the exhales. Two, nice. And one, inhale, bring both arms up into a sort of high lunge, but make sure as you press the heel back, the hips try to lower. So you're more into a, in between a high lunge and a low lunge. Two, open up through the chest, stack the tailbone in. And one, slowly bring the hands to the floor, place the knee down and step back into all fours. Nice, we're gonna move the hips forward and back, side to side, maybe create some circles to release. Very good. For three. Two. Nice, and one. We switch to the other side. So slowly inhale, extend your left leg. As we exhale, we place the foot outside of the left hand, open up through the chest, lengthen through the spine, and as we exhale, we bend the elbows, maybe we bring the forearms down, and we breathe. Slow and long breaths. For three, keep focusing on bringing the hips forward, the chest opens up. Nice. Two. Very good, guys. If you feel the tension on the left hip, that's perfect. Just inside. And one. Inhale deep. Bring your hands to the floor. Make yourself long. Flex through the back foot. Extend the back leg. Again, same thing, we lengthen through the spine as we inhale. On the exhale, maybe we bend the elbows. Maybe we're able to bring the forearms down. And if you feel comfortable, left shoulder below the inner left knee, trying to bring the left hand behind to the lower back. Maybe we're able to bring the right hand as well back, just if you're able to balance. Otherwise, feel free to maintain the right hand grounded. And we breathe. Focus still on lengthening and opening. Focus on grounding, on pressing back with the back heel. Nice. Slow and long breaths. Remember, on every exhale, we try to drop the chest. We try to drop the hips. Last deep inhale here. Good. And one. Slowly inhale. Lengthen through the spine, both hands on the mat, extending the arms, bring the right 
outer part of the foot to the floor. We see maybe with both hands, we try to ground through the right hip. If this feels okay, maybe bring the left arm up. And notice that stretch on the IT band, that opening on the left hip for two more breaths. Really nice. Lengthen more on the inhales. Create the space to open as you exhale. And one. Slowly bring both hands to the floor. Come back to center. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your right knee to the ground. Open again through the chest. Inhale. Open through the left hip. Press with the left hand onto the knee. We try to twist, looking gently up and we breathe. Slow and long breaths. Remember, as we inhale, hips go forward, we open more through the left shoulder. On the exhale, maybe we twist deeper through the spine, we try to open up by pressing with the left hand. Last deep inhale, good. And exhale. Inhale to come back to the center, bring both hands on the floor, make yourself long. On the exhale, extend your left leg, feel your hamstrings flexing through the left foot. Inhale, deep open the chest, exhale, reach forward, bend through the left knee. Inhale, deep exhale, come back again. Inhale, deep exhale, go forward. Inhale, deep exhale, come back. Inhale, deep exhale, go forward. Inhale, deep exhale, come back. Last one here. Inhale, deep exhale, forward. Inhale, deep exhale, back. When you come back, make sure you're engaging through the leg. You're flexing the left foot. The spine is long, the chest is open. Maybe you'll be here today. This is fine. Maybe you'll even be higher. Okay, it doesn't really matter. The important thing is that we feel the tension on the hamstrings. If you're comfortable going forward, focus on opening through the chest as you go farther. For three, wherever you are, remember, try to maintain the spine long. Two. Nice. And one, slowly walk back with your hands, inhale deep. Exhale, bend through the front knee, bring the left hand to the knee, the right hand follows. Open up through the chest, lengthen through the spine. Hips go forward. Remember, we try to focus on lifting and opening, on grounding. When you're ready, try to interlock the fingers behind, shoulders back, open up more. Slow and long breaths, neck, long as well. You may look forward, maybe up, maybe slightly back, depending what's best for you. But remember, we lengthen through our body in general. So through the right leg, through the spine, through the chest, through the neck, we're all long. If you feel comfortable, bending through the back leg, trying to reach with the heel, the glutes. Don't worry how much you can lift the heel, just focus on lifting it, on using your hamstring strength to help you. Two. Good. And one, slowly release. Inhale, deep lengthen through the spine, bring the right arm up. On the exhale, right elbow outside of the left knee. Hands in Namaste. First, we start twisting by pressing with the left hand onto the right, trying to bring the thumbs to the center of the chest. Breathing deeply and slowly. Remember, as we inhale, we create space. As we exhale, we twist deeper. Nice. If you feel comfortable here, remember, we can press through the back heel, lifting the back leg. Looking towards the left shoulder, or maybe even up to the ceiling. 
And from here, if you're comfortable, try to take the right elbow away from the knee. Try to twist by engaging through the glutes, by pressing the right heel back. The upper body goes slightly forward and we'll use our core and our back muscles to twist deeper for three. Nice. Two, keep rising as you inhale. Good. And one, slowly inhale, bring the arms up into your high lunge, but quite low high lunge. Elevate through the shoulders, create space, press with the back heel as you're bringing the weight of your hips forward and down. Two, nice. And one, slowly ground through your right knee. Bring the hands to the mat, inhale deep, exhale, step back into all fours, hips forward and back, side to side. Create some space, maybe make some circles. And we breathe. For three, slow and long breaths, slow and long movements, two, Nice. And one. When you're ready, we come back into all fours, flexing through our feet. Lift the hips up, back, and then ground yourself in your down dog. Don't worry if you need to bend the knees. That's not really important right now. Just focus on your spine being long, on your shoulders being elevated. So we're pushing the floor away. Neck is relaxed. Then if you're very comfortable, then allow your heels to drop but it's not necessary at all for three. Breathing deeply and slowly. Nice, two. Good. And one, slowly look forward, bend the knees and slowly walk until you reach between your hands, open up through the chest, inhale, exhale, fold, grabbing the back of the legs, holding here. Try to connect your belly with your thigh, so if you feel you need to, bend your knees, make sure you're fully connected. When you have the connection, then start lifting the hips. See if you're extending your legs but maintaining your chest and your knees together. If you're separating them as you extend, then try to stay with the knees bent a little bit, but maintain the connection. Two more breaths. Nice. And one, slowly bend the knees, release the arms and vertebra by vertebra start coming up. Last, bringing the shoulders up, back and down. Standing tall, we're gonna try to do some side body stretches from here. So when you're ready, you may be able to do it with the feet together or maybe if it's better for you, slightly apart, whatever feels more comfortable. We'll start by bringing the arms up, interlock the fingers, maybe even make a pistol, elevate through the shoulders, inhale, exhale, ground through your feet. We'll repeat this once more, inhale to elevate. Exhale, ground through your feet, okay? From here, we lengthen on the inhale. On the exhale, we start bringing the hands to the right side. Hips naturally will move to the left, but instead of just focusing on bending more, focus on lengthening through the left side. So the chest lifts higher, the spine comes longer, and then we're able to twist deeper for three. Make sure you're gently opening through the chest creating space, two, nice, one, inhale to come all the way up to center, exhale again, ground through your feet, very good, inhale again, elevate through the shoulders, lengthen, exhale, we move to the other side, same thing here, make yourself long, open through the right shoulder slightly, for two more breaths, And one, slowly inhale to come up. Exhale, bring the hands back, grabbing your lower back with your thumbs, 
Okay, so they are kind of like facing towards one another. We'll start with a gentle backbend and then we'll try to go a bit deeper. Okay, same thing, feet maybe together or slightly apart. Take a deep inhale, open the chest, bring the shoulders back, elbows in. Okay, so rather than out, we bring them towards each other and we try to bring the pelvis forward. Posterior tilting the pelvis will create less tension on the lumbar spine, will make it safe to backbend. So inhale to open up more through the chest. Hips go forward, bring the elbows back towards each other, shoulders going backward, and we open up. On every inhale, keep lengthening, keep lifting the chest. Exhale, try to deepen by bringing the hips slightly forward, elbows towards one another, opening the chest. Two more breaths. Try to work on extending the legs, if you can. Otherwise, if it's too much, then bend the knees, no problem. And one, inhale, maintain the engagement, come back up. Exhale, release for a moment. If you need to, you can move a little bit, release some tension. We'll try to do the same thing, maybe again with the hands on the hips, or maybe if we feel comfortable, we'll try to do it with the hands maybe in namaste, or even we can extend the arms, different options. So again, feet maybe together or slightly apart. Really make sure your foundation is strong. So you're pressing down with the feet on the mat. You're feeling that lifting sensation as you inhale, the chest opens, the hips go forward. We maintain some engagement on the glutes to not collapse on the lumbar spine. We maintain some engagement on the core as well for the same reason. Maybe we repeat and we stay here, extending through the legs, opening the chest. If this feels comfortable for you, maybe bring the hands in namaste. Try to use your back muscles as well as your core to help you lift. Instead of helping with the hands, we do the same action with the glutes and the core. We keep lifting, we keep opening. We look maybe forward, up or back. If you feel more comfortable, maybe work on extending the arms. And we breathe. Keep opening, keep lifting. Two more breaths. And one, slowly inhale to come back up. Exhale, start going forward, spine long, 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 and then release it back down. Maybe grab the elbows with the hands, bend the knees if you need to, and move a little bit side to side, up and down to release. I always find it quite <laughs> intense to talk when I'm in this backbend, as there is only the support of our feet. So apologies for the crazy boys. <laughs> so very good, guys. When we're ready, we lengthen through the spine, opening the chest, bring the hands to the floor. Maybe the knees are bent or legs extended, your choice. On the exhale, start bending your knees. Maybe separate the feet from one another a little bit more. We start coming into a squat. If you feel that in your squat you're quite uncomfortable, shift the weight forward so the knees, the heels lift. But otherwise, we try to bring the heels to the floor. Maybe we can help ourselves by placing the hands behind to have that support. Very nice. First, start moving gently side to side. Create some space. Maybe with the hands back, your choice. And start creating wider movements each round. Try to create space for your hips. We're gonna work with some internal and external rotations. So when you feel a bit more stable or used to being squatting, we're gonna start by bringing the right knee down, maybe with the help of our right hand. Maybe it's not reaching down fully, it's fine. Maybe wherever it is, we press down gently. And then we come back to center and we repeat with the other leg. Okay, this is the option number one. Option number two, you can try doing it without your hands. If you feel you can hold your squat with no problem. Okay. Option number three, we bring the right knee down. And if you feel comfortable, we try to drop the left knee back. And then as we come back, maybe with the hands or without, we come to the squat and we repeat the same thing on the other side. 
and then we come back to center. So any of these options, feel free to choose the variation that is best for you. We're gonna start, so first, we're in our squat. We take a deep inhale, we exhale, we bring maybe the right knee down, maybe we drop fully. We inhale, we come back up, okay? We exhale, left knee down, maybe we open through the right as well. Inhale to come back up, okay? That's one, we're gonna do three more like that. Exhale, right knee down, maybe left knee down. Try to do it slow. Inhale to come back up. Exhale, left knee down, maybe the right as well. Inhale, come back up. Okay, two more like this. Exhale, right first down, maybe the left follows. Inhale, come back up. We repeat again, left knee down, right maybe follows, maybe hands on the floor if you need to. Inhale, come back to squat. Last time, we come down with the right, then maybe with the left. Inhale, come back up, once last on this side. Exhale, left knee down, maybe right. Inhale, come back up, whoop. And we hold our squat. Moving a again a little bit side to side, trying to create some space. And from here, we'll start to separate the feet a little bit more each time. So we're kind of like widening the distance in between our feet, okay? Make sure your hands are on the ground so you can actually do the full movement without any engagement on the legs to keep you from deepening into the stretch. And just start moving until you find uh, about four to five feet distance. And we keep bringing one knee down, the nap, then the other one for the last three breaths. Try to, again, deepening, bring the hips as low as you can on every exhale. Last one. And when we're ready, we come back to center, extending through both legs. Open up through the chest, inhale deep. On the exhalation, we're going to start by bending the left knee. We try to take the hands away from the mat. Maybe we are bending just a little bit. This is fine, no problem, no need to bend more. If you feel very comfortable, try to lower your hips more until you feel it's enough for you. Pressing with the outer edge of the right foot down. Ideally, we want the left heel to be grounded as well. But if you cannot ground it, it's fine. No problem, we maintain the knee, the heel up. But ideally, we try to bring both feet fully grounded. Two more breaths here, spine long, chest open. Nice. And one, bring the right toes facing up to the ceiling. Inhale deep, maybe hands behind you to help you land and allow your hips to drop, okay? Maybe you need to bring them back, no problem. Lengthen through the spine, open the chest, exhale, reach with your left hand the right foot. If you cannot reach the leg, Open up through the chest, maintain the left knee as it is, the left leg as it is, if you can reach with both hands and try to bring your chest forward without moving your left knee. So we're still grounding through the left foot. Two more breaths. And one, inhale deep, come back up to center, right hand grabs the left ankle, okay? Left arm comes up. We really lengthen through the side body. On every inhale, try to lengthen more through the left arm, through the left side of the torso. On the exhale, we see if we can bring the hand gently towards the right, feeling more tension on the side body. If this feels comfortable, maybe we're able to go even deeper. Maybe we're able to reach the foot with the hand. Not necessary at all. You may be able to grab it with a belt as well. Two more breaths. Keep opening through the chest or extending through the left arm. Nice. Two. One, inhale to come back up to center. Hands on the ground behind you, shift the weight forward, extend through your left leg. Exhale, bend through your right knee, and we repeat. Same thing here. Maybe we're here, maybe we're able to lower down more. Doesn't really matter where we are, just focus on grounding and on lowering a bit more on every exhale, even if it's just an inch or so. Last deep inhale here. Ground, exhale, release on the hips. We turn the toes of the left foot facing up and we try to drop the hips down. Maybe we need to bring the hands behind, 
that's fine, no problem. Lengthen through the spine, inhale, maintain your right knee where it is right now, and then we bring the right hand to the left leg, maybe to the left foot. If we're able to grab the foot, see if you can grab with both hands. Lengthen more through the spine, inhale, exhale, try to go forward and down, but maintain your right knee where it is. You'll see that you really need to engage in order to do that. Slow and long breaths. Two. Nice. And one, inhale to come back to center. Bring your left hand to your right ankle. Right arm comes up. We really elevate through the shoulder, lengthen through the spine, lengthen through the arm. On the exhale, we try to reach the left. Maybe this is fine, no problem. This is great. If you feel comfortable, try to go a bit deeper. If you feel comfortable, a bit deeper, opening through the right shoulder so the chest opens slightly. Maybe if you can reach the foot with the hand and try to open up even more. And we breathe for three. Good. Two. One, slowly inhale to come all the way up to center, bring the hands behind you, and with the help of your hands, come back into your one leg squat, extend through your right leg, bring the heels towards one another, toes out, and slowly we're gonna try to lift into our goddess pose, okay? Make sure your hips want to drop and the pelvis wants to go forward. Here we're really active on our hips. Knees try to come slightly back. We make sure the spine is long. First option, hands together, okay? Elbows together, shoulders forward and elbows up. If this feels comfortable for you, eagle arms, we start with the right arm on top of the left and then we cross. We do the same thing, shoulders forward, elbows up, and we breathe. Hips try to keep lowering. For three, pelvis forward into a posterior tilt. Nice. Two more breaths. Start feeling the fire coming onto the legs. Very good. And one, slowly release the arms, bring the hands to the floor, bring the toes towards one another, heels out, inhale, open the chest. Look forward and exhale, fold into your Parasarita Padottanasana variation. Just hang here, maybe grab the elbows with the hands and start feeling the stretch on your hamstrings. Relaxing through the neck and we breathe. For three. Two, very good, and one. We repeat once more, bring the hands to the floor, try to bring the heels facing towards one another, toes out, we try to stand. Remember, first option, maybe elbows touching, hands touching, if this feels comfortable for you, left arm on top of the right, we come again into our eagle arms, shoulders forward, elbows up, hips low, we open up tacking through the tailbone and we breathe slow and long breaths for three good two Ooh, very nice and one slowly release the hands bring the toes in heels out inhale deep lengthen through the spine one more time allow yourself to drop grabbing the elbows and releasing very good. For three deep and long breaths. Two. And one. Inhale deep. Look forward, open up through the chest. If we're not facing the front of the mat, we're gonna walk with the hands to the front of the mat. Step forward, feet together, forward fold, separating the feet about the width of our hips. Interlock the fingers behind you, open up through the chest, inhale, exhale, allow yourself to drop and try to bring the hands down towards the floor, opening through the shoulders, breathing deeply and slowly 
for three, try to focus on bringing the hips high towards the ceiling. Two. And one, slowly bend the knees, release the arms, and start bringing the hips back down. Hands may go to the mat. We sit on our hips, and slowly we're gonna lay down. Just before we finish, we'll try to do a couple of back bends here. Now that we worked a little bit on our hips, we should feel quite open. I'll give you different options. We'll do three back bends, starting with bridge. See if you can grab with your fingertips, you can touch your heels. That's a good distance to start. We start by tagging the tailbone in. So posture till the pelvis, just as what we did from standing. From here, we press with the feet. We maintain the knees about hips distance, try not to let them open too much. And press with the feet so the hips come up. Shoulders trying to come closer to each other. Shoulder blades really close to each other here. The chest tries to open. We interlock through the fingers with the hands and we lift. We press with the legs. We engage the inner thighs, engaging the glutes slightly and the core to help you maintain the stability. Keep opening the chest for two more breaths. Good. And one. Slowly release and breathe for a moment. Good. We'll try to repeat this two more times. These times we're gonna open our hips at the same time, externally rotating. So same thing, we tag the tailbone, we lift the hips up, grounding through the shoulders. Maybe we stay in the same variation, no problem. If you feel comfortable, try to bring the right knee up and see if you can place the right foot on top of the left knee. As you do that, Press the right knee down towards the floor, and then focus on lifting the hips way high, as high as you can. The more we open through the right hip, so the knee coming down, the more we try to lift the hips higher for three. Feel that external rotation, that openness on the hip, two. Good, and one, slowly come back down. If you want to increase here a little bit more of the opening, as you release, you can grab your left foot with both hands and we try to pull the left knee and the right foot towards us. Or otherwise, you can stay still, releasing the foot. Two more breaths here. Very nice. And now we're gonna switch. So same thing, we ground through our feet, we tag the tailbone, we lift the hips. This time maybe we lift the left knee up. Maybe we do the same thing that we just did. So left foot on top of the right knee. We lift the hips and we open through the left hip by bringing the left knee down. And we breathe. Nice. For three. Slow and long breaths. Two, keep lifting the hips higher. And one, slowly allow the hips to drop. Maybe stay still or maybe pull the right leg towards you, the left foot towards you for three, two, and one. Good, slowly release. We're gonna start doing a little twist just before our Shavasana in order to release from the lumbar spine, bend the right knee, left hand grabs the right knee and we bring it to the left. We extend the right arm to the right and we try to ground through both shoulders. Start relaxing through the abdomen, through the back muscles. And breathe deeply to help you release more tension. Nice. Very good. Very slowly, we inhale to come back to center and we exhale, switch. Same thing, inhale deep, create space, and exhale, twist to the other side. And we breathe. For three. Two. And one. Slowly inhale to the center. And as we exhale, we allow both legs 
to extend, separating the feet about the width of the mat, separating the arms from the upper body, palms facing upward, eyes closed. Feel free to stay in your Shavasana for as long as you'd like to. Ideally, we'd like to stay for about three to five minutes, just releasing tension, breathing naturally. And if there's any thought coming on the exhales, try to release them. Again, feel free to stay for a little longer if you want to. Otherwise, thank you so much for sharing this practice with me and have a lovely rest of the day. Namaste.